Hi kids, welcome back to Yorkie Kids this week. Hey, can any of you remember what we learned about last week? Can anyone remember? That's right, last week we started a new series looking at the colourful life of King David. We talked about how, as we learn about David, we're going to be using crayons to help us. Can anyone remember what colour crayon we looked at last week? It was Jenny and Caitlin's favourite colour. Purple. Yeah, that's right. Purple, because God chose David as a young boy to be the next king. Purple is the colour of royalty. Kings of kings and queens. Today, our story begins several years after David was anointed to be king by Samuel. King Saul and his army were once again fighting a group called the Philistines. When David arrived at the Israelite camp, things began to change. The Philistines were a warlike people, so wow, with their swords and shields and everything. And they lived along the Mediterranean coast, just west of Israel, north, south, east, that way, west, maybe. The Philistines continually raided Israelite territory and tried to gain more of their land. What made the Philistines a really, really big problem though, is that they had an enormous advantage over them, over Israel, because they controlled the iron industry. So iron is what we use to make like what they used to make weapons. So like swords, as I said, and shields and armor. Most of the iron was mined, smelted and used for weapons. And it was, contro was controlled, all of that was controlled by the Philistines. This meant, as I said, that swords and other weapons were often very hard to find for Israel. What happened in today's story, we see David coming to check on his brothers <clears throat> and he did this and he overheard an open challenge from one of the Philistines, enemy soldiers. In spite of his brothers and the kings was begging David not to take up this challenge, David went into battle. No armor, no sword. All he took was a simple slingshot and a smooth brown piece of solid rock. Can you guess what today's cray color crayon is? That's right, it's brown. Let's find out more about this story in David's life, which is found in 1 Samuel 17, 20 40 to 49, also known as the story of David and Goliath. David and Goliath, 1 Samuel 17, verses 1 to 57. The Philistines were enemies of God. Their army came to fight King Saul's army. A giant soldier named Goliath yelled, Bring out your best soldier to fight me. If your strongest soldier defeats me, we will be your slaves, he boomed. If I defeat him, you will be our slaves. King Saul's soldiers were afraid. They did not want to fight the giant. Meanwhile, young David was taking food to his brothers. They were soldiers in King Saul's army. When David reached the camp, he saw Goliath. David heard the giant's challenge. I'm not afraid to fight the giant, said David. King Saul called for David and told him, You cannot fight the giant, you are too young. David replied, God will be with me. King Saul gave his armour to David, but it was big and heavy, and David wasn't used to wearing armour. David went to a nearby stream and picked up five stones. He stood before Goliath. The giant laughed at him, but David didn't care. He said, I come before you in the name of the Lord who rules over all. David put a stone in his sling and ran towards the giant. Then he let the stone fly. It hit Goliath's forehead and he fell to the ground. The Philistines saw that their hero was dead and they ran away. David was a hero with the help of God. During this battle and challenge that David found himself in, the Philistines appeared to have another giant advantage over Israel. They had an actual giant. 
Goliath was over two meters tall. In fact, he was almost three meters high. Not only was he huge, but the armor Goliath wore protected him all over his body. This truly is a story of opposites. Goliath was an experienced warrior. David was a shepherd who looked after sheep. Goliath was huge. David was small. The giant wore armor. David refused to wear armor. The giant carried a massive sword, a spear and a shield. The shepherd David carried a staff, a sling and five smooth stones. Goliath laughed at the God of Israel. David trusted that God. But who was left standing at the end of the day? David won. Not because he had the bigger weapon, but because he had God. God was on David's side. God gave David the courage to face the giant. And God made sure that the giant went down. And now, Yorkie kids, we are going to play a game. Awesome. Woo! I love games. <laughs> what sort of game are we playing? We are knocking over the giants. Fantastic. Let's play that now. Hi, guys. So I've just dropped in to set up a game for um, the rest of the Yorkie kids team. I was thinking we could do knocking down the giants. It's just like 10 pin bowling, except you're knocking down the giants. So we don't actually get to do stuff like this at the church, do we? It's kind of fun. So, okay, Jenny, Caitlin, Maddie, are you ready to knock down the giants? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> so Jenny, she's ready. She's got the ball. Here it goes. Second ball. How many can she get this time? Woo! Oh, she got a chance. Again. <laughs> okay, here comes Maddie with her second. Maddie, Jenny, Jenny <laughs> with her second ball. Oh. Oh. Bumpers didn't work. Okay, Caitlin's turn. She's got her first ball. Here it goes, and the release. Whoa. And look at that good. Woo! Seven pins down. Seven giants. Here she comes. Second ball, can she get the last three giants down? And the release, it's looking good! Oh, yeah. oh, oh, so close. I feel like Caitlin's done this before. Nine <laughs> pins down. Okay, now it's Maddie's turn, the giants are all set up. How many can she get? First ball, here she goes! Oh, and it's a gutter ball. Ten giants left. Ten giants left. Let's go, let's go. Four, three giants down. Well done. Hey, Michelle, do you want to have a go? Yes, I do. Okay, I'll take my balls down. All right, now it is Michelle's turn. Woo! Go Michelle, go Michelle, go Michelle, go Michelle! Go Michelle. Oh. Oh. Got a ball. Oh. oh yes! <laughs> Rebuild! Okay! <laughs> Here we go! I'm so out of breath! We Okay, Giants! Go Michelle, go Michelle, go Michelle, go Michelle! Yeah! yeah. How oh. many did you get? Oh, nine, nine giants! giants. Down. Nine giants each for Caitlin and Michelle. Game over! Yay! <laughs> Go, Michelle! 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 Go, Michelle
Good game. That was a fun game. But I know for David, when he knocked over Goliath, it would have been a bit scary. The story of David and Goliath is one of the most loved stories in the Bible of all time. It's a story that reminds us that we can do a lot with very little if we stand up for God. Even though David was young and his, this challenge of facing a giant was something others told him he couldn't do, he trusted and served God. Even though you might feel like you are young, you too can do so much for God. You can serve God at church, serve your friends and neighbours and tell them about Jesus. God doesn't need lots of things to do good. He can use little things, a sling, a rock or someone like you. God doesn't put serving on hold. Don't wait until someday when you are all grown up. Trust God as David did and let Jesus use you today. Let's pray. God, we know that you do great things in our lives, just as you did with David. Help us to trust you and to take on the challenges that you might place in our lives, knowing that with little you can do so much. Amen. This week, we would love for you to think about these questions with your families. So it's question time. Question number one, how did David defeat Goliath? Question number two, how can God use us to do great things? And number three, is there something God has put on your heart to do this week for him? Have a great week, everyone. We've had a good week this week, haven't we? It's been yeah. a good week. Yeah. Maybe this week you can make up your own game of knocking down giants, just like we did with our 10-pin bowling game. And maybe you could put bases on them to make them pretend giants as well. The next, also, we would love for you to send in your guess of what you think next week's crown colour might be. So we'd love to hear that. Please send that in. And if you have any questions to the questions that we've asked or answers that you'd like to share with us, we'd love that as well. Please check your emails and our Facebook page for updates and special announcement because there will be something different, I think, next Sunday. And we will see you next time. Bye. 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 Are you filming yet? Hi. <laughs> Hello. Can we clap? <laughs> so this is what was missing last time, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> Because we were really, the first time we did it, I just clapped and it was just so, no one did anything. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> it's Maddie that does it. <laughs> the Philistines were a warlike, whoa, warlike people. And, <laughs> why did I do that? <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. Okay. I'll do it again. <laughs> we can all do it. <laughs> Except you're not all in the screen at the moment. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> The Philistines were a warlike, war, warlike people. And they lived. But who was left standing at the end of the David? <laughs> at the end of the David. <laughs> 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 Now, Yorkie kids, we are going to play a game. Oops, sorry, it's on sorry. Me. <laughs> oh, look, the light.